previous session we have seen about the merge price protection for transformer however we have seen though merge price protection could give protection against your short circuits but better it would be taken off by your buckles relay so in today's session we will be seeing how this buckles relay gives protection for transformer now here if you could see this buckles relay it is a gas actuated relay it gives protection against incipient fault when i say it has a incipient fault it is nothing but a slow developing fault okay so in case of slow developing fault initially it gives a alarm okay a precautionary measure suppose if the fault level exceeds it leads to a severe internal fault in that case it helps to disconnect the transformer from the supply so in case of incipient fault or slow developing fault it just gives an alarm which is mentioned as point 1 and whenever there is going to be a severe fault it just disconnects the transformer from the supply another unique feature about this buckles relay is that it can be used only in your oil immersed transformer for the ratings above 750 kva okay so now this going on to the location of the buckles relay it is usually the buckles relay which is na named as number 5 it is located between the transformer tank and the conservator so in case if the oil level so in case if there is going to be a fault depending upon the gas accumulation it either gives an alarm or trips the circuit now moving on to the construction it is a dome shaped gas actuated a uh, relay which is filled with a transformer oil it is has two floats which is hinged on and you have two mercury switches so which does its own function in case of your incipient fault it alarms or else in case of your severe internal fault it is connected to the trip circuitry now what happens we will see so this is your upper element and this is the lower element now we will move on to its operation right so when the upper element it is connected to a mercury switch so it is in turn connected to a float so whenever there is going to be a slow developing fault a fault which is of incipient nature in that case what happens whenever there is going to be a slow developing fault it is going to heat or it is going to decompose some of the oil which is present in the transformer tank due to the heat which has been formed with right so because of that what will happen it is going to vaporize some of the oil content as a result it is going to get converted to hydrogen gas so 70% of the hydrogen gas which is going to be formed as a result of slow developing fault it is going to get trapped in the upper part of the relay chamber so which in turn so because of insufficient pressure is going to be exerted on the float this float is going to tilt and the mercury switch is going to close and it is going to give the alarm circuitry so this is for your slow developing or incipient fault now whenever there is going to be a severe fault in the case what happens so large amount of the gases will be produced so when compared with the earlier session the large and large amount of gas is going to get uh, produced which is going to create a sufficient pressure on the lower element so on the lower element enormous gas is going to get collected so because of which what happens so this uh, Oh, gas it tries to move up as a result this oil rushes from 3 to 4 what is 3 to 4 oil rushes from the transformer tank to the conservator so in the earlier case only the gas is going to get trapped in the upper chamber whereas in case of a severe internal fault the enormous fault it is going to the because of the oil that is the gas pressure the oil is going to rush from the tank to the conservator so when the oil rushes from the trans from the transformer tank to the conservator it in turn it will give the trip circuit open that is this float is connected to your this float in via your mercury switch is connected to the trip circuitry so this trip circuit it will open the circuit breaker and for the transformer which is under its control 
So initially it is an alarm, a precautionary measure. If it is going to exceed the fault current is going to exceed the level, in that case it trips the circuitry by because of this pressure, the oil from the tank rushes to the conservator. Moving on to its advantages and disadvantages, generally if you could see it is the simplest form of protection and it can detect the fault at the earlier stage when compared with other types of protection. Moving on to the disadvantage, only it can be applied in your oil immersed transformer that too above the rating of 750 kVA. So it detects the fault only below the oil level in the transformer tank. You cannot use it for the protection of the cables. So with this, I wind up today's session. In the next session, we will see some of the numericals related to transformer protection. Thank you.